Hi everyone, we're here with David and his wife Susan. Why don't you tell us what you came in for and how we've helped you. Originally, I had seen Dr. Johnson on Channel 2 on one of his infomercials. Right. And he had some information that he might have treatments for multiple sclerosis. Yes. Which is what my husband has. And I have it too, as you know. So. Yes. Yeah. And he was diagnosed back in 2006. And at that time, we had gone to a clinic in Sioux Falls, South Dakota as well as the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Oh, wow. Well, I didn't know. Yeah, that's right. I, you guys did tell me about the yeah. Mayo. Yeah. At one time, um, they had him actually doing chemotherapy. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> <laughs> actually had him doing chemotherapy to try to stop his progressive MS. Right. That's Eventually, intense. That was very intense, and uh, it Oof. was not very good to his body. Oh, yeah. Did um, it help him at all? No. No, uh, it seemed to make things worse instead of better. Really? Wow. All well, the drugs and everything they were putting in me. Oh, it's poison. I know, it's crazy. And we, I, yeah. we went to the point that I quit all the drugs, everything wow. that they were giving me. Oh. And that happened in 2008. Oh my God. He was on 14 different kinds of oral medications daily, mm. plus injections. Holy crap. He was in such bad shape that he actually slept through our daughter's senior graduation. Mm. And um, it was just because he was not doing well at all. Um, about a month and a half later, he became suicidal. Really? Wow. And <laughs> and our younger daughter, who had just graduated from high school, caught on to that. Yeah. And immediately I took him over to Mayo's. Yeah. And the um, doctors looked at all his prescriptions, and then they said, some of these don't go together. Oh, jeez. And I, I was sitting there going, what do you mean? Weren't you looking yeah. at this all along? And yeah. they said, no. Wow. Um, he said, no wonder he became suicidal. We'll give him some other prescriptions. And finally I said, uh, no. The he drug thought, cocktail was yeah, dragging was him down. Yeah, it was too much. And yeah. I said, no, he's not doing that anymore. And then they said, Mrs. Mori, just so you know, he will be dead in the next two years. <sighs> wow. Um, at that point, because he had lost his job due mm -hmm. to the effects yeah, of his prescription, right. um, we and I ended up getting a job in Stevens Point. Yeah. We moved to Stevens Point, and he was going for disability yeah. for Social Security. He met with a doctor up at the Marshfield Clinic, and he said, you have progressive multiple sclerosis. They've been treating you for relapsing right. multiple sclerosis. At this time, there is no medication for progressive multiple sclerosis. Right. So that's what we thought. That's what was going on. Mm -hmm. And back in February, I was channel surfing, and then I saw your infomercial about right. multiple sclerosis. Yeah. And I said, we have to try this. Right. And so tell me what you just told me. He was able to do things just recently that he hasn't recently, been able to do in 12 which years. Which is Christmas. We yeah. had two Christmas parties. Nice. He was doing things that I would have expected him to do. He probably hasn't been able to do them in the last... 12 to 15 years. Oh. And although he still walks with a limp, yeah. um, cognitively he has improved. Well, I, I've eyesight, noticed that. His I've noticed eyesight that. has improved. Yeah. His oh. core, overall coordination has improved. Right. And I am just amazed at how well the stem cell treatment has helped him. Right. And now, this last round we did intrathecal. And, and so that, just so people know, it, it's a spinal injection of stem cells. It crosses the blood-brain barrier. It's been shown to help MS, neurological conditions, stroke, well, prior, Parkinson's. Prior to that treatment, I would go blind about uh, maybe once every two months. Yeah. Since that treatment, I have not had an really? episode at all that's helped my eyesight like oh. I wouldn't believe. And, that, and that's interesting because that's how my MS was diagnosed was a visually evoked potential. The optic nerve is the first nerve to demyelinate. 
and so that's that's great that that's fantastic it really is so what would you tell people that are considering it because insurance doesn't cover it unfortunately and it. yeah um we have talked about that we talked about that before we signed up right for the yeah right um for example um his insurance when he was working only covered a certain amount of copay for his prescriptions oh, okay. we were spending fourteen hundred dollars a month just on, on his drugs. prescriptions wow. so yes it does, isn't all covered by but yeah regular treatment isn't always covered by insurance right. either that's true it's a good fact, point um because um i am now retired we do not have the prescription copay that mm -hmm. we had um before while i was working the prescription that he still was taking is went from 25 dollars a month now to 399 dollars a month wow. and that's just for one prescription yeah so if people are looking at the cost right they also have to look at the cost of what they are doing right now and with all the um extra visits they're going to the doctors right and doing extra therapies and things like Plus, that. Plus, it's the cost of your peace of mind. You know, people are gradually getting worse. Yes. I was gradually getting worse before I my stem cell therapy. That's and the thing. I've even stopped taking the prescription that I was taking. Well, we should clarify. I've never told you to do that. No, right? no, because no, no, legally, I can't. I stopped yeah. doing it yeah. simply because I wanted the stem cell to do everything it could. Right. And I, according to what you've said, that... Uh, the pain is probably the biggest thing that causes the stem cell to react. Right. I stopped taking it, and I'm feeling better now than I ever than I that's ever great. was on the drug. Really? I'm wow, that's drug. great. That's fantastic. And and it is amazing. The best thing that our children said to us at Christmas time is said, "Mom, we're so glad that Dad is back." Well, that's great. And how can you put price tag on a person's yeah. health? No, it's that's just it. I, I mean, I looked at it just like everybody. You know, I was following it for a while, and then finally I pulled the trigger on it because as we talked, I, would, I was just gradually going downhill. You can feel yourself sliding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then when you feel yourself coming back, it's like, oh, yeah, sheesh. Well, I actually went deer hunting this year. Uh, that's I right, you did. a long time. Yeah. yeah. Without a walker. Oh, that's great. That's great. And and that is amazing right there. I mean, he was down to having a motorized scooter, a right. walker, and at least minimum a cane. Wow. Now he's walking around the house without a cane. Nice. Nice. So how how do you put a yeah. say on and, that? And it, I should say, too, it's not just stem cell. It's everything else we're doing. Yeah. PEMF, it's laser, diet it's, is, it's is diet. diet. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's an anti-inflammatory diet. Mm -hmm. um, it's for those listening, it's paleo. It's a paleo, autoimmune paleo. You know, the homeopathics, the nutrient supplements. I mean, it's it's the complete package. It's just not load you up with stem cells and send you on your way. you got to have some degree of follow-up. And well, that's and, the other thing. You spent the time and looked at all the history and everything right. else. Right. And yeah. what needed to be done, not just, well, let's, let's try treat this. the <laughs> symptoms and right. go from there. Right. Yeah, you got to get to the cause. And, and that was another thing that you have to be complimented on, that you actually take a whole blood panel. Right. You take a person's DNA and right. look at it and see what, what what's really missing and right. where you need to be treating that person. Right. Yeah. Great. All right. Anything else? Um, I asked my doctor back in Stevens Point what yeah. he thought of the stem cell. Yeah. And he said, would you spend $10,000 on your kitchen? And I said, well, yeah, it needed to be remodeled. Right. He said, it's better that you spend $10,000 on somebody's health. I, that's great. That really is. Thank you.